Uh, I've got some clips here of Babel from your first one. Uh, what kind of got you involved with Babel? Um, we just, um, I'd seen them at a gig, spoke to them, liked them, and I'd recorded their album launch that's on my YouTube channel as well. And um, when they heard what I was doing, they were in- interested in doing that. But what was fantastic was their input in the visuals as well. Green screens, fabulous uh, visuals behind it. I'm as whole as you. What does the ripping off bit look like? What do they tell you that <laughs> entices you in and then what are the mistakes to look out for? Well, look at the small print. Can't be bothered. Oh, yeah, it'll be all right. Look out for the guy who is really so friendly and smiley and wants to, you to be his friend and take you everywhere and take you out to dinner and will say, yeah, we'll pay for this, and then suddenly you realise they're not going to or they might disappear with your demo because they say they own it. People say, oh, backing track. It's not backing track, it's orchestrations. It's Mick and Rob's put together. I hate the thing when people say it's backing track. And I've put them the vocal arrangements and they are as important a part of the show as the live musicians because the arrangements and the vocal arrangements are just as I want them. 